Today's presentation will be on the protocol that we use here at the Greenville Health System for evaluation of postmenopausal bleeding. Cancer of the endometrium is the most common GYN cancer in the United States. There are approximately 40,000 cases diagnosed a year and approximately 7,500 of these women will die of the disease. Traditionally in the past, evaluation for postmenopausal bleeding has been by either endometrial biopsy in the office or hysteroscopy with DNC. In women with postmenopausal bleeding, the incidence of cancer in the various studies is about 1 to 14 percent with the quoted overall average uh, of about 10 percent. Now obviously there's a difference in uh, age and risk factors. Older women have an increased incidence and women with risk factors such as chronic anovulation and obesity are risk factors. Here at our institution by our protocol there are two options for evaluation of postmenopausal bleeding. There is the ultrasound first option or the biopsy first option. If we do ultrasound first, if the endometrium is less than or equal to four millimeters, then biopsy is not necessary. In a gr group of studies of about 2,655 patients with an endometrium of less than or equal to 4 millimeters, the incidence of malignancy was about 1 in 900 or roughly 0 0.01 per cent. If the endometrium is greater than four millimeters, and if there is diffuse thickening, then the patient undergoes endometrial biopsy. If it is greater than four millimeters and there is focal thickening, the patient undergoes hysteroscopic biopsy. If we do the endometrial biopsy first and you get a conclusive diagnosis your workup is complete and the patient is referred to our GYN oncologist. If biopsy is inconclusive, the next step is to perform a sonohistogram. If 
on the sonohistogram, the endometrium is left center equal to four millimeters, then your diagnosis is atrophy and your workup is complete. If endometrium is greater than four millimeters and diffuse thickening, then you can either repeat biopsy or go ahead with hysteroscopy DNC. If focal thickening, then recommendation is hysteroscopic. Biopsy with DNC. If bleeding persists, regardless of initial workup, most people would recommend further evaluation. This concludes the presentation of protocol for evaluation of postmenopausal bleeding.